dog Scrappy, which is actually the second generation of fam famous shop dog. Third generation. Third generation of famous shop dog. And we're gonna be talking about big block Chevys, and specifically this here big block Chevy. Um, this is going in the Vega. This was in the Vega. We definitely tested this in the Vega. I gotta get another light. <laughs> um, so long story short, we are going to the dyno tomorrow noon. So, this is the star of our big show tomorrow. Um, a little bit about this motor. Um, the tunnel ram system came off, what, Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, pulling tractor off Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. So and it, it is a pretty cool looking piece, except for it would not idle. And the carburetors did not have an idle circuit drilled in them. Yeah, they had zero idle circuit. And that took me a couple days of fiddling yeah, to no, figure that one out. It, it looked good. That was about the... It was cheap. Yeah, it was fair, fairly cheap. It works well now, though. It's got that um, ceramic coating on it, too, to make it shiny and fancy. That's cool. Um, we had to cut the living shit out of it to clear the distributor. That yeah. wasn't cool, yeah. also. Yeah, it would have been good with an offset distributor, except for we'd need even more of an offset firewall. So, long story short, we ended up just standard MSD deal. Um, the block is Gen 6 big block, like a truck motor, or this one was for a marine application. It was a boat deal. Um, the crankshaft is... We could call it Jenny. Yes. We need to get on the valve. That's my boat. Gen A. Um, the crankshaft is from a dump truck, if we want to add to this, you know, yeah. little real collage. Because they had the 427 truck engines and 366 had the 427 stroke forged nitrated factory crank. Yep. And I had actually bought a motor that had that crank in it for 375 bucks or something like that. And it had pretty good rods and a few things in it. So we stole the crank for this. Cali's rods, I think icon pistons? I believe they're icon, yeah. It's been so long yeah. since we put it together, I don't. Yeah. But yeah. nice light stuff up top and then it's internal balance, obviously. So we're not dealing with that normal big block bull crap. No. So well, you only had that, you didn't have that on the 427. No, anyway. the 454s did. Yeah. So we're not dealing with that garbage. And then these are BB2X. 365 heads and then we did a little a little bit of a, just a just a not a port match but a little bowl blend action and some work around the valve job and lap the valves check the valves all that wonderful stuff put our big old springs in it and then it's got the TD shaft rockers all that business um, the cams like I think 840 780 lift or something like that or 870 780 lift or it's gonna top end for a 632 yeah it's it's got a big old hanky cam it's gonna be very interesting to see how it actually performs in the dyno and i don't know that it really has enough compression ratio for that i mean it's only 11 to 1 or ish yeah. 10 mid 10s to 11 to 1 so i mean that's going to be our limiting factor there as to what kind of power it really makes but the good part is we can run it on just pump 94 and it'll be more than okay and your guest of it I mean, given the fact it's only 440 cubic inches, I mean, we're going to be out of the, the huge power league. But I think, uh, I'm thinking it's going to be around 740 kind of deal. We're hoping. Yeah. that's. I'd be real happy if it was, if it makes 600 foot pounds to 740 horse, I mean, I think we'd be like really in real good shape in that car. It ran well at the track. It, and ran it acted well. like it had pretty good throttle response and stuff. Yeah. But I have to say that it, it is got a very large top end for the cubic inch, and it's going to be... No, but now it also has a camshaft for it, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think. If that camshaft isn't a complete dud, it's going to it's gonna turn right out. If it doesn't power. fly apart at 8,500, we're good to go, but... Well, I mean, I think it's going to break peak power around 8 grand or something like that. I know Frankie's chip in the dyno is 8, so we'll, 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 we'll see it. We'll go to there. If the rods don't fly out of it, it'll make good power. I mean, it's been eight in the car, so I mean, yeah. like, I'm sure it's fine. See, you drove it, didn't I you? I drove it. I mean, like, don't let me drive things if you don't want them tested. We're just hoping we didn't dial those carburetors out too much because we pissed around with a bad fuel pump. Yeah, we're going to need to definitely bring the jet kit and... I've got them right there, the jet kits. And so make sure that, you know, obviously... They the jet kits and power valve kits are right there. The one problem with the two carburetor thing is you tend to need, like, three people jet kits to be able to do jet changes on them, so that's kind of an issue. Well, Michelle has some. Um... But no, we should be we should be good to go. I mean, it's nothing that somebody at home couldn't build too. Like, I mean, you don't have to be an engine shop. Yeah, you no, know, it's not exotic. I mean, you can buy any of these parts off the internet and have somebody, a buddy that knows what they're doing, assemble this. You know what I mean? It's it was nice having an engine shop so we could bore it and stuff. Oh yeah, no, doing our own work came in very handy because God, you wouldn't want to pay somebody to to do three quarters of the work we did. 
you know, but I mean, it's not like, it's not like it's a freaking patent. But it's been know. decked, it's been line honed, it's been bored, so it's fresh. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. I mean, I mean the, the heads are brand new, A to Z. Yep. The, you know, every machine surface is new. So we'll put her on the dyno and see just how bad that huge top end messes up 440 cubic inch. Yep. Or if it works as good as it felt in the car. Now, I mean, if it had 14 to 1 compression, I don't think it would hurt it an ounce. No. You know, but it, it doesn't. The compression is probably more of a... I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see what this makes. A little fuel pressure adjustment. How many are we stuck here? I said seven or eight. It's about what we're gonna run it. See if that, those carburetors run over there or not. We had a little bit of trouble with those last year. Yeah, that's true. So Frank says 650, right? Yeah. Ty says 750, I say 700. Perfect. Do we have some maybe? Okay, let's check the height on the rear uh, floats. Yeah. Because that may be, they may be buried. Yes. All right, let's go well, check that. that carburetor looks like it might be running over too. Yeah. Well, we went up four jet sizes in the rear. How many in the front? Uh, three. Three in the front. No, two in the front corner. I had 86s in the front, we were going to 88. And I had 85s in the rear, and we're going to... Uh, Why is the idling even leaner? Yeah. That makes like no sense. No sense. I think I it all. Like lower I, I think it all of a sudden got fuel. Yeah. Sounds right. What? Bring it up, bad. Lean. Thirteen six. I wonder if one of those floats is sunk. They're stuck, you know. I will check the back. That's crazy lean. Maybe we'll just back it up. Yeah. 
I still don't understand why it's leaner now, though. What's that? I still don't understand why it's leaner now. Might not run without my time at all. No, no, but why is it so fucking lean? I mean, the lean might be a byproduct of not Leaner running. now than it was, though, with a smaller deck. It's leaner now than it was with a smaller deck. more jet we have bigger jets <laughs> yeah let's look at our data here 530 horsepower 473 74. torque yeah we're a long ways from being Anywhere ideal here near, too yeah oil pressure perfect temperature perfect the BC. Oh, great specific fuel consumption is way down there. yeah way down there. Uh, you need you need fuel need fuel yeah. need fuel no, well, without question. See, we did a big change and it didn't really... But, see, BSFC... Apart from the last poll, where were we on fuel? Uh, no, I you never, I never complete, I never oh. complete the pass, yeah. so you don't record, don't record. it. Okay. So, honestly, with brake specific fuel consumption that low, it would tell you we're a long ways away to me. Yeah. I can yeah. tell you on it the video. It would tell me we're like still four jets or something I like can that. tell you on the video where it was. Yeah. No, you're the, 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 the I, I took a video of the screen before. Yeah, okay. I, I can tell you where it was before the four jet change. Okay. So I'll go look. All right, so what jets are we at now? 95 squared. We'll pump shop the crap out of it. Can we unplug the distributor and something around the side? Yeah, hang on, I gotta be where you're at. Oh, yeah. No, I don't believe it. That's a really response to get how you think it would. Take six, six and a half pounds here. What? Did you shut it off? Nope. Do we have enough gas line? Yeah. Uh, on the tank, yeah? Yeah. You, you said There's a lot, yeah. You said you still had six pounds of pressure too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I guess, try. We'll try to start it on Sounds like it'll run now. Well, for some reason, we lost ignition on the dyno. That was a bitch, actually. You get leaner and you're going to put a bigger jet in. Fighting the dyno really hard though. Well, it may not have enough climbing now. Look at how weird that BSFC gets there though. That looks good to me. 
yeah. But what the fuck's with the BSFC? I mean, it's not making any sense sense at all. Yeah, but that's not that's not life. No, no. So we have a lot of fuel, so we're gonna raise the RPM. I, I guess. And after we're gonna raise the timing. I, I I guess. I guess. I mean, I think so. I think timing by the axis better. And the timing will lean. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll like timing. Yeah, just hang on. It sure doesn't get very warm, does it? Uh, it's the, the thermocouple. Yeah. Yeah, but we've had some of them that get warmer right. than that. Yeah. We know it's hot enough now, it's not going to beat itself up. No, I'm pretty confident in that RPM. And we've got such a little timing in it, it's not going to beat itself up. Because so. that's that 36 of so really Timing and not much jet, it's been idle for. It definitely idles fatter after you beat on it. Eh? Yeah, it does. It leans out after a bit. Still climbing horsepower. Yep. I mean, it should. Like, it should be making a lot more than that. Like, I mean, okay. So I don't think we have timing though. No, I don't think we have. I don't think we have, we have near enough timing. He's rich here, so you're gonna you gonna love the timing. Yeah. Yeah. So do we go to 75 and after yeah. raise, raise the timing? Right. Yeah. yeah. 160, 172. 170 degrees. That's good. The torque is it, really low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's long. Yeah. yeah. It's flat. Not very high, but very long. Yeah. And that's what we want. But that's not a big surprise. Uh, we have enough uh, enough fuel, pressure, perfect. Or pressure uh, limit to raise it over 7500. But for a couple of times, it's okay. But uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to run at the track over 7,500 all the time. Yeah. I noticed the fact that but the oil is hotter it's now. It's not as long of a yeah. pull, and the oil is yeah. hot. No, now. that's it. Because you're doing a pretty long dyno pull, too. You're doing like six seconds. And we did two in a row. Like, yeah. If we shortened the dyno pull a little bit, it wouldn't be any yeah, The oil is thinned out. So, timing? I think timing. Do you want to maybe shorten the dyno pull a little bit just so it's a little quicker? Uh, yeah, I could make it uh, faster. The run. Yeah, I made it 200 RPM for a second. Yeah, maybe we're gonna do three or four. 250, maybe? three, three four. four. is good. Let's try four. Okay. And and then it'll kind of maybe get up through there a little bit more, like. It'll be a little bit more like it's pulling a gear. Yeah. At the track. Yeah. It, it'll be more. It might similar. change something a hair. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's get out there with our timing light. And I mean, technically, it. four gears. It, 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 it that much. It would. Be a slow car. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, no, the no, RPM's no. changing way quicker. No, we're not land speed record racing it for sure. Well, I mean, this changes down to the idle at all. That's a damn good sound. 
sounding motor. Right. Yeah. That is a fucking good sounding big one. I still think it needs a little shot of smack though. Man. If it's going to make power. It's going to need it. That is a good sounding motor. It needs though. more timing. I have to say you something. I love my job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you love to came here yeah, to yeah, make some yeah, dino pass. Yeah. And this pass is was... <laughs> I mean, it sounds oh, yeah. Frank, yeah. Frank, are you getting Randy over the sound yeah, of that? Yeah. Big can. He's like he's Old like, school pro He's like, guys, shit. stop looking. It's like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just made Frank so say... So I, I will win my 100, 100 bucks. I think you're winning the betting competition. It's yeah. still going up a no, lot, though. Yeah, but it's not... We are not finished. Now. But look at how big blocks... Big blocks always do the double torque curve yeah. thing. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna rev a lot higher than that. Man. Yeah. I can, that son of a bitch, though... I mean, <laughs> it isn't going to make my horsepower number. No, it's going to be gonna, closer to Frank's. It's not going to... No, but I mean, it's going to make... Okay, so what's the gain from the last timing to this timing? Let's, yeah, let's look at our two runs back. And our air fuel is the other question. Where we are now. Yeah. yeah. We're all getting excited looking at the numbers, but we got to look at the important numbers. So I like the so timing. I like the timing above six grand, really. That's so we could raise the timing. Oh, it actually made more torque down below... And if you want, we could raise the RPM too. Yeah. Because yeah. She, um, she, what? How? What's the? Uh, the only reason we got to raise the RPM is, is is to win the contest. I mean, like. But no, but I want to see what it does up top too. But I mean, what's maybe, our air? Yeah, what is our, what air, is our fuel? air fuel doing? The other thing I want to do is I want to pull it without air filter on it. Perfect. The BSFC looks better too. Look. Yeah. It looks a lot better. Yeah. So like, it likes. It, it likes. Timing. It likes the timing. So let's give it some more. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Well, Frank, do you have a problem with it? Well, let's, no. let's add more timing and let's just run it again at 75 and see if it gets better. Yeah. So this is 36 degrees in it now. We're going to go up to 38 or what? Or four, was it 41 when we got here? Okay. So what do you think? What do you want to do, guys? We'll start a little bit. We'll add it to kind of where it was when we got here with it. And and 38, I think, is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure. That mark we scribed on there with a fucking marker. Okay. I'm not saying I don't think that's necessarily perfectly top dead center. You okay. know what I mean? So I, I'm thinking that's more of a reference mark than okay. a than a real. So let's, 37. Let's. So one degree at a time. If we lose, we have to back up. Let's, let, let's go. If we win, yeah. let's yeah. Let's, let's, go, go, two let's or, go two, two or three, and we'll see what we gain. Okay. Or lose. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean we're two or three shy of where we yeah. started out. So okay. Okay. We gotta get Frank more excited next time for more timer. It sounds better the more time you're You know what we can do is change the sound at it, I don't know. It surprised me. But it, it really changed the number. Where's your 9 16th, sir? What are we, 38 now? Pitching off, see? Yeah. This time it's still climbing. So I liked it. So what the fuck? Now we're at a whole dilemma. I mean, it was a smaller gain that time, but we could add another two degrees. Try it again. Yeah. Two degrees? Why yeah. the fuck not? We're gonna have to leave that thing in our box then. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, fuck it. Big balls, or, boys and girls. Yeah, or race the RPM a little bit. What's it? Doing to our air fuel? It's leaning it. Yeah. How how lean? It was twelve o twelve two. And see, it went through a rich area, which to me that rich area uh, when it's trying to make four. Should we? Like our BSFC gets better every time we raise. Should it should we lean it aside? No, not yet. Just when we're gonna raise the top timing. Yeah. Because we don't want to remove. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Before yeah. we have yeah, you want to you want to keep adding time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Look at how much of a flat or curve it is though. It's okay. making 490 foot pounds, but it makes that yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It makes 400. Uh, yeah. It makes more than 450 foot pounds everywhere. Everywhere. Don't lift that little vega off the ground, in it. 
but that's the ideal kind of combo for a Vega, you know, I mean, light, light as hell like that. I'd like to see more horsepower, but it is what it is, you know. It's going to make more horsepower. The more we rev it, the more it's going to make. Yes, I know. I know. If that goes that. to 8,000, it's going to make 700 Still, horse. still no. Yeah. No, because it isn't climbing 50 horse for... Oh, I bet you it will. We're already, what, 75? It's what? We're turning 7,500 right yeah. now, but we're not going to make 500 RPM ain't going to give us 50 horse or 40 horse. Well, look how much it's gaining over 100 RPM. Well, how much is it gaining over 100 RPM? Well, even over 500, you're going hey. from 624 to 659, so that's going to put you at 780 horse and it's gaining the same. You raise a 5 horsepower each, each, each on 100 RPM. 100 horsepower is 5, yeah, so we gain 25 big. maximum. Yeah. You get 25 horsepower. Yeah. So we did. If you if you want to try it one time, it's better now with less timing. Try it. Try it. Try it. I don't know or, or not. Do we want to find out if it's going to be better with timing? I mean, fuck it. We might as well find out how it runs. You know what I mean? You're the boss. Let's try it with timing. Yeah. I'm a fan of timing. Like I like timing. So how much time do you want? We'll add two more. Okay. We'll pull a plug and check the timing mark on the plug. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah, well, we'll check our plug, see what our plug looks like, yeah. and then check the timing mark on the plug, good, and then we'll, I mean, if the timing mark looks good, we'll add two, okay. yeah. right? Right. Because the plug, like Chief says, the plug is the soldier in the engine that really knows what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, like that's that's the key. So we do that. All right. So we put the timing back. We're half the plate. So eight hours on. Yeah. This is our last pull because we're out of gas. Okay. <laughs> Didn't like that in or did it hit the chip? RPM limiter rate. Chip is 8,000. I think it definitely hit the rev limiter. Oh, the rev limiter is at 8,000. What the the spring, you have good spring? That's oh, very good, yeah. yeah. That would tell me it's not actually using that much gas to make each horsepower though. I mean, it's a pretty efficient engine in that term. We made a lot of freaking gas. How many pulls did we make? Nine, ten. Yeah. Nine. Well, but we made a lot of passes. But but the thing is, that's an actually a really that's a fuel efficient engine. I don't care what they say about Priuses. That's a fuel efficient. So engine. Frank says after eight or nine pulls, they're good to go. Absolutely. They don't die. No, no. <laughs> So I mean, that's yeah. where she's at, man. Yeah. Oil pressure's like just a dead linear curve. Yeah. Ain't too bad. Yeah. Oh shit. So that's cool. And with cold cold oil, oil, it'll you're gonna it. raise the pressure a little bit. Yeah, the other thing too, we can put some 50 plus in it if we want. Yeah. No, but remember at the start, we were revving it just to 6,500, like the first pull, first or second pull, and it was making 85 pounds. So I mean, as long as the yeah. oil's not that hot. It's okay. We got it pretty hot because we pulled it. We haven't really given it a big break between pulls. Yeah. No. I mean, no. I think it's had a 10 minute break maybe, you know, while we changed jets. All we've done is beat it. So it was really, it made 655 horse, you know? 
they made 660 on the last run, I guess, or the yeah. run before that. So you want to see it? Yeah, I guess. It was like eight or seven. It made like 660. I mean, uh, this is the one with the rev limiter. Wild looking grass. You got <laughs> didn't cut or pull the rev limiter. Either that box or that chip or your RPM signal coming in here is not exactly. So 500 foot bounds and 600 meshing. 55 horse. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, shit. Yeah. That's all right. That's the the most beautiful graph. Yeah. Well, usually our graphs are sort of like that. Yeah. Except for that 383 of Brian's. That <laughs> thing was just like flat horsepower. <laughs> I never saw a motor like that. It was no. like. Just 550 horse everywhere. What's the torque? Almost from idle. 5,800? Torque. 50, 58, 59, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. We can probably pick up a couple horsepower if we leaned it out a bit, but I don't really want to. Oh, do we put scoop on it? I don't know, I was thinking about that. We don't need to run to eight grand, but maybe we could just run it to like seven quick and see if the scoop fucks it up or not. Yeah, see how bad. I mean, it's gonna change live going down the track, but we could do it. Um, now one thing I will say about that is we put a 400 shot of nitrous on that thing. It's really good. It's gapped for, for oh, yeah. 400 of nitrous. Yeah, yeah, or more. I think Billy and I gapped it pretty good and there. I hope you feel good because you just spun a crankshaft from a dump truck, 8,000 RPM. I know that it's a stock crank. Yes. I remember but it's that. a good stock. It's a They're a very nice Forge stock. OEM yeah. crank. Yeah, Forge and nitrate. And like it has the black. Those dump truck on. cranks are actually a pretty nice crank. Yeah, you know. it was a smooth yeah. casting and everything. Yeah, and it's got just, good rods and good everything. But so. <laughs> it's a seventy-five pound crankshaft. Yeah. I mean, we just oh, yeah. spun it. Eight no, we we spun a lot of weight fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it sounds like it. Yeah. It sounds amazing over it seven. Sounds like, like it sounds freaking amazing. That's gonna be super cool in that car. Like yeah. Yeah. that's that's. Yeah. It's going to sound like a 70s Pro Stock car. It looks like a 70s Pro Stock car. That Linko transmission and all that shit, it's wild. It's, it's all cool. kinds of men. Yeah. All right. Just like I say, we don't need to go crazy. I'm, I'm going to go see. put the chip back in it just in case we have some <laughs> How bad that screws things up with that, with that scoop on it. Because if it does really screw it up, we can make a bigger one. We have to have a scoop. We have no choice because it, it does draw the gas out of the carburetor. Idle 14-0. It works better than it should. It really does. That's not a bad. I mean, for you guessing on your idle circuits. <laughs> Actually, I drilled them a little bigger knowing that... Uh... I didn't expect that. I think that. it made more power too, actually. You're kidding. No, 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 no. Yeah, Dad, it just made like a lot more horsepower and more torque. A lot. Like a lot. Like not a little bit. <laughs> like we're making the same power we're making at 8,000 or 7,500 before down to <clears throat> That doesn't make sense at all. Frank? But we could not stop now. 7,500. Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. Uh, 7,500. Okay, we're out of fuel. Okay. Yeah, we're out of fuel. Let's, let's just stop. Guys, we're no, good. 7,500. No, uh, no, we need no. to know what it makes. 7,500, let's go. Put <laughs> some fuel in it. I told you my scoop works. You didn't believe me. Yeah, well, no, I didn't. That, the fucking scoop works. Yeah, but, but that's nonsense. No, it's not. It says. How in the hell? It's got a balloon. It's got a that don't make no sense at all. It leaned the air fuel. Might have something to do with that. Might. Might. I want to pull it off. But why did it lean the air fuel? Because it uh, not making as much signal by the booster or what? I mean, it must be. That's bizarre as hell. have a hell of a five minutes in this video, I'm going to have to put it on my computer. I'm 
too much shit on my phone. Plug looks really good. The timing mark looks fine. I think it sure does stain that plug, doesn't it? Yeah, actually, it probably a little less back than we had before, I think. It looks good, though. Maybe it likes that less timing. Mean, maybe that's why it made more horsepower. No, we started getting a hole. That's true, yeah, we did. I like it. I like it a lot. I think we got ourselves a happy little unit right here. I'd say so. You guys are a little bit rednecky there, wanting to pull this thing again. That's all I can say. Not really. I mean, it's made this many. I can't believe. I can't believe it was better. It doesn't make sense. Last one. Wow. Wow. Of course, now that's not just the air filter. That's tuning and a few other things. Yes, but but that's mainly the air filter. Well, we were lean, and we, you know, we had a few issues. Uh, let's. I think a 7500 pull is going to tell us everything. <laughs> Do it for you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'm going to tell you, I just would have swore that air filter was going to hurt that thing. Hey, Michelle, here's a guess for you. <laughs> that thing without that scoop on it, or with the scoop on it, which makes more horsepower? We don't. You just lost. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. I it never just made 25 more horsepower or 30 more horsepower. It makes zero sense. Use that and with our yeah. Don't yeah. yeah. going to make more. Well, we can't do that at the track. No, <laughs> but but it, 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 it literally made more horsepower with that scoop. I, I never would have believed it. And for some reason, it leaned it a little bit. Yeah. It made it a little richer and dip it. it. Did it must make a, a worse signal by the booster or something? I have no idea. Very strange, it doesn't make more horsepower. It's funny, it, 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 idles, it idles at very good AFR though. I haven't had tunnel rams do that, but when I drilled the idle circuits in those carburetors, I drilled them out a little bigger knowing that we have that problem. So it made more, it actually made more 5,000 RPM to, well, it lost a little bit that time, maybe because it's hotter. Hotter. I wonder if your sister was hotter. I think, I'm wondering no, too. you dip your bow. Yeah, uh, it was leaner? Leaner ear, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, sure it was. That's now? Yeah. Before 6,000, it's later. It's lean. After 6,000, it's better. To I think that's, better. that may be from heat, though. Weird. Because, I mean, we, we didn't really change anything there. But it made more of a difference last time between... Can you put the last graph beside this graph? I'm yeah. curious, just from heat. We made no other changes other than RPM and, and more gas. Maybe the octane booster made some. Maybe we're running out of octane booster now. Yeah, I wonder if we're not running out of octane booster. Or, but cold engine, hot engine too. What maybe. was our temperature difference between the two poles? Nothing. Nothing. The the water temperature, but the oil temperature could be. You know, higher oil temp should make more horsepower, not less. It's a, I think that's probably fuel. It probably likes that fuel. And can you put it next to a graph? Can you add a graph that had no uh, no filter on it? Over th those two, two? Yeah, I guess. Like our last big pull that we did that was I, good? I would say that's fuel. Yeah. I would can check that one. Very, very interesting. Made, yeah. Another interesting gonna, day at the diner. I'm going to take a picture of that. So that's no, really. Yeah. 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 No, but he'll want it now. <laughs> He's at work, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's driving and then. No, he's, he's, watching he's, he's, driving, he's driving a desk today. 
<laughs> he's, he's dispatching. Hey, like you, Francois. 